It's maths! It's maths! Let's rub the magic elbow patch and see what fun is coming up today. No more sad maths. It's bad maths time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> These are the kids who will never leave Maths Mansion until they've collected enough of these maths cards. How many have you got so far? Three. Three? Three out of five? Not very good, is it? You're going to need seven to get out of here, and you've only got five more programmes in which to do it. So what are we testing on today? Today, rounding up decimals. Oh, no. It's that sad program breaking through again. Stop watching. Stop watching. Do you know something? I've got worms. Here they are. Now, I think it would be nice and tidy if all my worms were all exactly one metre long or exactly two metres long. So the question is, shall I make them shorter or should I make them longer? Well, the decimal knows what he wants to do. Shall we let him make one of the worms shorter? Oh, all right then, Decimole. You can have a nibble on this. There you go. Have a nibble. Oh, that's enough. Now let's put it down. Excuse me. There we are. It's gone from 1.3 metres down to one metre. Hmm. Now, how about this worm over here? No, it's far too much to go all the way from 1.7 down to 1. I think the best thing to do with this worm is to stretch it and make it bigger. So I'll tell you what, you hold on to that and I'll stretch... No eating, and I'm going to stretch it. There we are, that's it. Thank you very much, Decimal. Marvellous. There we are. This worm has gone up from 1.7 metres to exactly two metres. Nice and tidy. Hmm. Which just leaves the 1.5 metre worm. Now, should that one go up or should it go down? Oh, I can't decide what to do with it. I could give you some suggestions. Get out of my programme and stay out. I like the decimal. Quiet. We don't do soft and fluffy maths here. Oh, right, time for a quick fire round. What are your names? I'm Michael Rowan from Crewe. And I'm Sierra Wrightshire from Manchester. Right, so decimal numbers can be rounded up or down to the nearest whole number. Like the worms. Don't mention the worms. So, take a look at this. You've got decimal numbers in between whole numbers. But which way do you round the numbers, up or down? Celia DeMarchi, pick a number and round it up or down. 2.2 is nearer to 2, so I'm going to round it down. 2.2 rounds down to 2. Michael Warrender. 2.6 is nearer to 3, so I'm going to round it up. 2.6 rounds up to 3. What about 2.5? It could go down to 2. Or it could go up to three. Do you want to know the rule? Point 0.5 rounds up. Just keep your eyes on the digit after the decimal point. If the digit after the decimal point is five or more, the number rounds up. And if the digit to the right of the decimal point is less than five, the number rounds down. If you want to know more about rounding up or down, meet the machine that gets rid of decimal numbers. The rounding machine. Numbers 
does it go? Which one's above? Which one's below? Read that digit zero to nine. Put the number on the number line. Round up or down, what makes the choice? The digit five, the decimal point. Zero, one, two, three, or four. Get rounded down, and that's the law. I'm 35. Oh dear, I'll have to round that down. Hey. You see, I'll have to round it down. Round it down where? Well, you see, 35p is 0.35 of a pound. Isn't and it? decimals, I always round them up or down to the nearest whole number. So there you go, there's a pound. No, 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 no. What? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. One pound 35. No, I'm afraid I don't do decimals. They bring me out in a rash. So well, there's your pound. Well, they bring me out in a rash and all. 135 or nothing. Oh dear, you've just lost a sale. Well, that's... What sort of businessman are lost you? I've 35 pence and all, wouldn't I? I've had a sold to you. Hello. Hello. I'd like to buy this box. That's uh, £2.55 then, please. In which case, I shall give you £3. Sorry? I'm going to give you £3. Why is that then? Well, 55p is the same as 0.55 of a pound. And I don't like decimals. They give me dandruff. So I round up or down accordingly. 0.55 rounds up. Three pounds. Okay, Are you ready for the test? Yeah. Because the test is ready for you. Ready. Okay, quick as you can. Round these numbers up or down. 8.7 up to 9. 24.2 down to 24. 3.7 metres up to 4 metres. 4 pounds, 27. 4 pounds. The gong has bonged and you've done well. Yes! Which means you get your rounding machine maths card. But you still need three before you can leave maths mansion. Take it. Have you got rounding up and down sorted out? Try this test. I go to the market nine times, and these are the bills. If I round them up or down according to the rules, do I make a profit, or does the man in the market? I'll see you next time. Pay attention, it's Maths Mansion, the game show where you get to test your maths ability. Feel the tension in Maths Mansion. Let's see how good at learning maths these kids are gonna be. If they want out, then they must earn it. There's no leaving till they learn it. The only way of getting out is mathematically. <laughs> no! No! 1.5 rounds up! Up! Oh! <laughs>